born in Vietnam. <laughs> we went to Las Vegas to rehearse with the orchestra uh, years ago. Um, We'd usually go up there about a week before um, the show opened to uh, work with the orchestra. Anyway, um, at one point during orchestra rehearsals, the orchestra took a 10 minute break to have a cup of coffee, uh, maybe pack their nose and do all those things that <laughs> violin players do. <laughs> anyway, uh, when they took the break, Elvis came over closer to us in the rhythm section and he started singing that old beautiful old song called Let It Be Me. Uh, and we kind of knew it, uh, cause you know, the Everly's had a big hit on it and, <clears throat> and it's been around for a couple hundred years and we'd all heard it. Anyway, uh, when the orchestra came back from their break, Elvis said, uh, just simply said, well, we'll work on that tomorrow. Uh, I think I want to do that in the show. So when I got out of the rehearsal that day, uh, I was wanting to let him know that I'm a music arranger. Didn't quite know how to tell him. So anyway, I went up, we got out of there awfully early, maybe at four o'clock in the afternoon, something like that. And I went up to my room um, and scored that uh, for orchestra and uh, had it all up. That only takes me about four or five hours to do a thing like that. Anyway, I had it all prepared and uh, had the music put on the stands and uh, ready to play. <clears throat> and I wrote the, uh, the melody in the intro so that when he came on stage the next day, he would know what song we're doing. And when I saw him coming, I uh, stood up and kicked off the orchestra with that song. And as he walked by the piano, I handed him his lyric sheet. Uh, and there it was, you know, uh, this pleased the king. <laughs> and it was a thing that went on for quite a few years. Uh, while I was with him, I arranged 53 songs for him. Anyway. <laughs> i 
you always.